Sport Explained takes no responsibility for the actual amount of sport successfully explained in the following broadcast. Any real terms knowledge gained about sport from this broadcast is coincidental. No encyclopedias were harmed during the making of this video. Please consult your physician before watching. Hi, hello, welcome. It's Sport Explained, a miracle breakthrough in the field of YouTube. It's a video. This week we're investigating a peculiar phenomenon known as the Premier League sack race. Confused? Prepare not to be. Maybe. Start the clock. It's an easy topic this week because the Premier League sack race is exactly what it sounds like. It's simply a race of people made of cloth from the sack region of the former Czechoslovakia. Of course, there is another secret definition. The sack race is part of the big secret Premier League sports day, which also includes the egg and spoon race, the three-legged wheelbarrow and the zipline challenge. It's essentially a race to get sacked, so it's slightly unclear why anyone would want to win it. But nevertheless, it's still a lot more exciting than the League Cup. Managers who wish to take part in the sack race pick a club-branded sack to race in, choose their weapon, then attempt to win the race first by losing their job quickest, which they do by being the worst. If that sounds confusing, just imagine the sack race as a sort of inverse 100 meter sprint, but with bags, defeats to Stoke City and enormous payouts. The winning loser manager who sack races hardest wins a P45, has a little cry, then heads for the exit door. Then it's on to the excitement of rotating horses and the managerial merry-go-round, which is simply too complicated to explain here, but it does feature a very tired-looking Alan Kerbishley. The sack race was invented to complement the other huge extracurricular success stories of the Premier League season, like Bonfire Night, the Harvest Festival Agaru. and Rio Ferdinand's Twitter feed. Some of the best sackers in the world have presided over the sack race competition, including Alan Sugar, who spent several years sacking manager at Spurs in training to say the word, you're fart, proficiently enough to carry a whole television series. The sack race was brought into disrepute during the early noughties when a craze of happy sacking swept the nation, and sack race winners were awarded with their marching orders without actually winning any sort of race. Except a race to the bottom of the league table. This year is shaping up as one of the most thrilling sack races yet and finish line technology will be used for the first time to determine the exact moment at which Alan Pardew crosses the line in first place. Feliz end of video YouTube fans, you've made it! Now it's time to subscribe to Sport Explained and have a new video delivered to you by post or internet each week on Thursdays full of information and jokes sometimes. We won't actually be posting them.